Thanks, Nate. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, <laughs> well, uh, the reason that I wanted to keep the team together is because we think it's a really good team, and, and obviously we have people picking us to win the Stanley Cup this year. Um, I think as a result, it's a um, you don't get teams like this very often. Um, I think we have a real nice mix of, of talent and character. And, and uh, I wanted to give them another try this year. Um, we did not get outplayed last year in the playoffs. In fact, uh, you know, starting with game three, I thought we dominated the rest of the series. I was disappointed in the first 10 minutes of game five, and I thought that was um, what may have changed the series. And um, I've often said the deciding moments of the series don't often happen in the deciding game. They happen somewhere else in the series. And, um, but we played well the rest of that game. We, I thought game six was the best game we played all year, and, and we played well enough in game seven, but we had a goalie standing on his head. And that's sometimes why I think uh, we should call this game goalie instead of hockey, because their goalie just stole the series from them. But it doesn't mean we can't come back this year and win the cup, and that's what we uh, expect to do. You never get tired of winning, that's, that's the best part. Winning hockey games. Uh, you felt like you'd done your job. There's no better feeling than walking down after a game, walking in the coach's office, shaking their hands. We did our jobs tonight. Um, you know, you've got hundreds of thousands of people watching on TV, and you've got 20,000 people in your building, and you want to deliver. So, winning is the best part. Uh, this job is pretty black and white, there's, there, there's nothing in between. Um, the tough part of the job is, uh, is telling a player he's not, he's not ready to make your team or not good enough to make your team. Um, you don't ever want to kill someone's dream. Um, so that's the difficult part. And uh, the late night travel is sometimes hard. <laughs> That's, you know, when you play, uh, and, but that's, that's part of the job, but when you play in Washington Friday and uh, Dallas Saturday and you get home at four in the morning and you're up for practice or whatever else you have to school or whatever you want. But, and anyway, we get used to that. Thanks. I'm not going to whine about that. Defense is young. With Green, Schultz, Carlson, Olsner. Um, our forwards, are, like our veteran forwards, are 25, um, and we've got kids coming. That's why I, I look forward to each season because I want to get these these new kids in there that are really good players. So I think we're going to be a good team for a long time, and I think we've managed the cap really well. Uh, we're in good shape, and we don't have to lose anybody we don't want to lose. Um, and when it comes to that, it's interesting. Like I. I know I have to be mindful of the cap, but I make hockey decisions. And, you know, if that, that has to be my priority. Is this a good hockey decision? I don't want to do anything for cap reasons. It's got to be a hockey decision. And Don Fishman really manages the cap for us and, and helps me with that. And we, we talk a lot, but the priority is, I'm making a hockey decision done, you figure out how we do it. Make sense?